it's Chelsea and welcome back to the digital art elements through illustrator series and in this one we're gonna finish up creating this caterpillar we're gonna talk a little bit about using the pathfinder and creating the antenna eye and mouth for him now for the antennae again I can inflate them together but I cannot do the effects together so again I'm going to leave those things and I'll come in here and do an effect I did the two different gold effects and you so you can see the difference between the two for this one we'll try the brass or perhaps the copper copper is not bad it doesn't look like I can change the color but copper might be okay for me and I keep my kind of shiny feel that I've got going I think I'll do this one if for some reason your material properties don't show up you may have to select only one of them and then they'll show up for you in order to make this look like it is on my caterpillar I'm gonna move this antennae to the back and this one I'm going to round the corners and I can do that by selecting it and pulling these corners in slightly as much as I feel like I need to and I think that'll work okay all right lastly I should have an eye and a mouth here there's the eyes it is kind of facing away from me so I at least wouldn't have one of the eyes let's work on the mouth first I'll show you something interesting that I'm gonna do with this mouth now I could leave it like that and just say oh his mouth is open that would work fine but I'm actually going to place it kind of near where his body is and I'm gonna go to my pathfinder and select minus front now it looks like his mouth is actually open and it has this kind of interesting cut out and for the fun of it if you wanted to see I could oh I could turn it so that you could see a little bit more in detail what it does when you cut out a shape like that so it doesn't look great from all angles but I think it works pretty well for this angle and as far as the eye goes I'll place it on there and bring it to the front just going to do something really simple we'll inflate it and leave it pretty low I'll create a ellipse so that it looks like he's got an eyeball I can hold shift if I want it to be perfect or if I feel like it needs to be an oval I could do that too switching to the move tool I'll give it a fill we'll give him a blue eye and if I inflate that as well it kind of gives you a little bit of a hint which works for me okay I have my organic shape finished 
the last thing that I'm going to do is group it and we'll call him finished. Obviously, when you create your own shape, you are going to have other creative problems you'll have to work through. But a few things to remember is that expect it to slow down your program. And if it just slows it down too much, then this may not be something that you can do with your computer. And you might just have to skip this page. If some of the effects don't seem to be showing up in your 3D and materials panel, then you may have to only have one shape selected since many of the options don't show up when you have more than one shape selected. So have some fun playing around with the 3D and materials panel and I'll see you in the next video.